Hi Taurus, this is Marishi and Shashaloka. Let's see what is the situation as a man and what you need to hear from me right now. Taurus out there, so I'm gonna write some Venus. Taurus out there, what is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one last time. Taurus out there. All right. Is the debt all right there is a need for you to decide okay along with the Queen of Swords this person is all about you know uh, thinking with the head not letting your emotions come in between not letting your emotions overpower your judgments there is a need for you to transition taking things forward Okay, so uh, I feel like a decision needs to be made regards to your situation. Okay, so with this death, it's all about letting go of things which isn't working and moving forward. So with that Queen of Swords, it's all about doing the right thing for your own sake as well. Not just for others, for your own sake as well. Do what is right. Do what you've got to do. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion or probably a Virgo or a Libra. Hmm. I'm just going to put it back. Taurians and the what is your next card, please? Your next card is the Seven of Pentacles. It seems like uh, someone has walked away. There has been some kind of a separation. But yet, with that seven of pentacles, this person is still waiting. Waiting for them to return. You putting the work, okay, hoping there will be some kind of a transition within the situation. Okay, expecting this person to return so that you can move. Yeah, let, let bygones be bygones and move forward. That is what you are expecting. But the, with the queen coming as your first card, it, it's like, you know, you really need to think th uh, things through. You really need to assess the situation and do what is right. Maybe you have been waiting for quite some time, hoping for some kind of a transition. With this card alone with the Eight of Cups, it's, it's like someone is disappointed. You want things to come to. You want this transition to happen. It doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. It could be a work situation as well. I'm just going to break the deck. Some of you might be dealing with another Taurus energy or probably a Pisces energy. Yeah. We got the Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's all about your future, your stability, your security that you're concerned about. Having that foundation. You know, it, it has an impact. Whatever this is you're waiting on, it has an impact on your future. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Torian's other. What is your next card, please? It seems like you're working on this or this is a work situation. It's more like, you know, you're putting in so much work into this to make things go your way. Does that make sense? Yeah, things are pretty much slow. You know, it's taking its own sweet time. You are expecting this to come through. But it's taking a while now. That is why you have been waiting. Okay, with that seven of pentacles, you keep waiting. Okay, for this transition to happen. Your next card is this one. It seems like only if this happens, you will be in charge. You will be able to have a control over the situation. With that chariot energy in the center of your reading. Yes. Otherwise, you feel trapped. 
You need this to happen, otherwise you feel trapped. You just don't know what else to do. If this comes through, whatever you're expecting, if this happens, then, you know, it's, it's, it's like you can control the situation to take things the way you want it to. Until then, you feel pretty much trapped. All right. See the contrast with uh, the chariot, it's, which is a movement. It's a vehicle. And then we have the eight of swords, which is pretty much a person stuck, not knowing how to release themselves. So you're pretty much dependent on this situation. To move forward, to come through to the next level. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or probably a Gemini. This reading is all about forward moving energy. I want things to move forward. But then this has to happen. Only then can I move forward. Yes. You are invested into this um, situation. Emotionally invested into the situation. You know, this, this is a situation which consumes you. You can't stop thinking about this. It's in your conscience. No, really. You're very, very much uh, involved or invested into this whole situation. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or a Gemini. Same energy as uh, uh, earlier. All right. Torian's Elder. What is your next card, please? Again, a Taurus energy. We have the heart of it. It could be a, uh, you know, this is something which is huge. It could be a management. It could be a foundation. It could be a business, um, you know, place. Okay, a things which is, um, which goes by the rules and regulations. Okay, it could be a church, it could be a um, courthouse, it could be a hospital, an education system, um, a school. You know, so things which is very conservative, which follows the traditional rules and regulations. So I feel like you're up against, you want something from them because seven of pentacles and um, the heart of it. So you're waiting on them. To make that transition. Okay. So this is whom you're up against. Along with the four of pentacles. It, it's almost like I see you juggling. You know, you're trying to keep the balance. Okay. You're trying to weigh things out. There is something about the heart of it, okay? Some of you might be hoping for something, some kind of a transition to happen in your life, which is, which could be some kind of a commitment as well, could be a contract as well, okay? When I spoke about going by the rules, it is all about, you know, making things official, signing a contract, all that, commitments. But this is whom you're up against. These are the people who, who has to take the next step. Only then will you be in charge. Okay. It seems like you're holding on. You don't want things to slip out of your hand. There is a very closed off energy. I feel the person or the institution whom you uh, whom you're dealing with is having that energy of. Uh, you know, keeping things closed off. And there is uh, another side to the story where you don't want things to slip out of your hand. You want to keep things intact. 
Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or another Taurus energy. All right. It seems like two, two stories are just merging in. They want to speak their, uh, on their behalf. And, all right. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This is all what I'm speaking about. Something has to be initiated. Something has to come through. That's what you're waiting on. Again, Taurus energy. One last card for the Taurians out there. you want things to fall into its place things to be balanced things to be aligned again okay but there is this vulnerability there is a need for you to uh, when I speak about the temperance it's all about having a balance in your head seeing things for what it is weighing things out understanding the situation you know wrapping your head around this because there uh, when i look at the page of cups and the temperance there is something about you which is a little naive you know you're hoping for this transition only then will things come into alignment only then will i be in charge but with this page of cups ending this reading are you being a little childlike? Because this is a very vulnerable, gullible, innocent, childlike energy. So are you seeing things for what it is? Have you really assessed the situation? Do you really think things will come through? Because I see you waiting. Do you really think it will come through? Hmm? Do you really understand the situation in the first place? Do you really think you will be in charge once things, you know, if it happens? So there is a need for you to really, you know, put it out, you know, put it down, step back and see things for what it is. Because I feel like you're overlooking something. That's it. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. It's raining outside. I wish you luck, Torians out there. This is Marishi. I'm a chapter looker. Until next time, bye bye.